What's up all you lads and ladies? Welcome to another fascinating video in the world of Reddit. If you liked the video, post your favorite Reddit comment below, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Thanks to Unredeemed, Mr. Bionic in my last video who subscribed to my channel. Nice job dude. Hope you enjoy this video about why them chilies be so hot. Explain like I'm 5. If the whole purpose of a fruit, vegetable is to spread seeds by being eaten and what out. Why are chili peppers doing their best to prevent this? Capsaicin tastes like burning to mammals, but not to birds. Fruits that contain it are essentially reserved for animals. Birds, that can carry it farther away, instead of being eaten by one squirrels. Deer, that will eat it on the spot or nearby. That way, the plant seeds get spread more widely, and the offspring that grow don't have to compete with one another as much. What it does is affect the heat sensing nerves by lowering the threshold of heat when they trigger, to the point where it's below skin temperature. Your very skin makes the nerves think the area is too hot so there must be a damaging environment like a fire according to your brain, but without any tissue damage. And this effect can occur elsewhere, pepper spray for instance, or getting the oil of a chili on your hands, though the effect is most prevalent on sensitive areas with more nerves, like mouth and sadly, anus, leading to a second experience 12 hours later. Water can temporarily lower skin temperature, but it quickly rises again so something that can remove the chemical, milk, will have greater effect. It's not actually about deterring mammals, that's just a happy side effect, because although mammals aren't as good at spreading seeds, they still are good at it. It's primarily about protecting immature fruit from microbial damage, in a way that doesn't deter birds and mammals. Humans end up liking the burn so we help the plants propagate. Stupid question. In the Scooby Doo live action movie, Scooby eats a super hot chili or something and breathes fire. Smoke comes out of his ears. He trashes the place. And then Shaggy squirts a whole bottle of ketchup onto his tongue. This does the trick. I saw this when I was a kid and thought I would try it. It seemed to work. But now I stick to milk and hawkata. Does ketchup really have any ingredients which might help with this more than other foods or water would? Sugar. Ketchup real high in sugar. Scoville scale is based on the amount of sugar needed for you to no longer taste the heat of a chili. If you cook something spicy and add too much spice you can add a bit of sugar to take the heat away. Worked in a place that used the second hottest chili in the world for a sauce. Apple juice mixed with sugar syrups was my go to. But Scooby Doo probably just thought ketchup was funny I doubt they'd base it on that. That eat sensation your mouth generates when eating a chili pepper is something only mammals like us have. Birds don't even notice. To them it's just a normal fruit they can eat like any other. The chili isn't saying I never want any animals to eat this. It's playing favorites by saying I only want this to be eaten by the animals that will fly and spread the seeds really really far away from me. Go away, you pathetic mammals with your hair and your mammary glands, and, more importantly your lack of wings. This isn't for you. Yes, bats, I can hear you screeching, not all mammals. Look, this was the best I could do, alright? I don't have eyes or a sophisticated friend or foe identification. So this is the best I can do. It'll have to be just simply no to mammals, yes to birds. Then along comes humans who are a very weird kind of mammal that likes the pain and calls it spicy. Every signal in their body is telling them. This is probably hurting you. But since they don't just operate on instinct they can tell that sensation is a false positive when the evidence shows it's not actually harming them. And the chili plant is like, well dang there goes that tactic. But then it turns out that these humans will willingly plant more of them on purpose just to get more of that food they make. So this also becomes a helpful survival tactic. It ends up being a different type of I bribe you with food so you will accidentally cultivate my seeds than was originally used on the birds. Now it's become I bribe you with pain so you will work for me and cultivate my seeds. That's right humans. Feel my pain. I know you love it. Yeah you can't get enough of it. Plant my seeds and maybe you'll get a bit more of that sweet pain you seem to like for some oddball reason. Okay, maybe that's a little not safe for work for explaining like you were 5. 
Keep going I'm almost there. You like that? You retard? It's an old meme sir. But it checks out. Plenty of people already mentioned birds. But one other thing to remember. Most peppers aren't naturally that hot. We humans have been selectively breeding peppers for maximum hotness. So something like the Carolina Reaper never had to evolve a mechanism for spreading its seeds. Birds aren't affected by cascasin. The plant wants to be selective about what animals spread its seeds. The seeds of chilies are small and evolved to survive long enough to pass through a bird gut, but not a large mammal. Birds are not affected by the hotness, and they are the target seed carrier. Their poop is far and wide and they don't grind the seed up with mammalian vegetarian teeth. Mammals will chew the pepper and crush the seeds, or may even digest the seed therefore. So the hotness makes it so that only birds can eat the pepper fruit and poop the seeds everywhere. Not all fruit are meant to be eaten. Not all seeds will avoid digestion in all animals, to be passed successfully. The fruit may be present to feed the seed itself, like a built-in starter soil. Except that really, there is no intent in evolution. Simply, a successful mutation is successful, however randomly it works out. So, there may be success in some fruit being passed in stool, and thus spread around by the movements and the movements of animals. And there is also success to be had in fruit providing energy to budding plants. My parrot loves hot peppers. One day he was amazing in habaneros and came over to give me a peck on the cheek. It was painful, but he didn't know any better. Evolution doesn't choose to do stuff. When they turn spicy, the DNA isn't intentionally trying to protect itself. It's too small to think that way, and the only animal, or living thing, I should say, since plants aren't animals, that is smart enough to know it has DNA at all, is humans, and even they barely change their DNA intentionally. That said, the reason peppers remain are for two main reasons. Birds can't taste the hotness of peppers, and humans enjoy the hotness, I don't know why, but they do, so they breed the stuff in mass. Birds don't feel the heat, spice, so birds will carry chili peppers as seeds, while preventing other animals from doing so. Which is apparently advantageous to peppers propagating. Birds aren't affected by the toxin in capsicum plants. Perhaps the plants are selecting who spreads them. Source. My chickens can eat spicy peppers no problem. To ask a similar question, why are some plants poisonous? I feel like everyone here missed the fact that a fruit's main purpose is not to be eaten and shout. Take an apple tree for example. The majority of the apple tree's fruits will simply fall to the ground where the apples will rot and provide nutrients that will fertilize the ground, enriching the soil for the seeds that will eventually settle on the soil the apple rotted in. Yes. Birds and animals will contribute to the migration of a plant's seeds over long distance, but that is not the main method plants rely on for reproduction. That's why you see wild plants growing together in patches, because like they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Fruits that contain capsaicin have evolved to be spread by birds, who are not affected by the chemical. Chili seeds are very delicate. If they are eaten by a mammal, they will be destroyed by the mammal's gut. If they are eaten by birds, the seeds survive and are pooped out. Birds can't taste the spicy chemical in chili peppers, so it helps ensure the fruits are eaten by the right animals. Birds, not mammals. Peppers are only tasteable to mammals. Birds are not impacted or are only impacted at minimum levels. This may allow the plant to protect itself from browsing animals. We don't fully understand it yet, but it may be a defense similar to thick bark, thorns, bitter flavors, etc. 
not all animals can taste the spice in chili peppers. For example, at the zoo where I works, some of the parrots love eating them. So there are still some animals that can eat and spread chili seeds. Furthermore, animals like humans actually like the taste, hence we still cultivate and eat them. So, can other animals feel the heat when eating peppers like human animals? Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell like it owes you money. Remember to post your favorite reddit comment from the video for a chance to be featured in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video about life advice. Show a small channel some love by liking and subscribing. Take care. Pip pip cheerio. Much love from me, Matt British.